Whoa! For how long have you been here? That's creepy. I'm actually listening to my favorite book once again. I don't know how many times I've listened to it or read it. The Four Agreements from Don Miguel Ruiz, remember? I made a video about this, if you don't remember. I wanted to listen to it again because I recently interviewed Kirsten. Kirsten is my new friend. She's an operational consultant just like me. She helps her clients implement systems to be more efficient, to have more streamlined processes. And she's the creator of Inbox Zen. You're gonna have some links in the video notes right here. And this interview is all about the four agreements because it's her favorite book too. <laughs> That's so funny. And we're talking about how to utilize these four agreements in a business environment, but also how the four agreements helped her at a more personal level. And like for any other interviews, we're finishing with the tete a tete, like every time. So I hope you guys enjoy my conversation with Kirsten. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And don't forget to ring the bell also if you want to have all the notifications every week, every time I upload a new video. So enjoy my conversation with Kirsten. Hey guys, I just wanted to grab your attention just for a quick sec. I want to share something that I'm so excited about. In January 2020, I'm starting my new online training program, the Time Flies Academy. If you are a busy corporate professional or corporate manager and you're working 50 to 60 hours a week and you are almost burning out and you never have time for the things that are truly important for you like spending time with your family working on a passion project or a side business or just simply taking care of your health and you wish you had a system to bring you back to 40 hours a week then this training is for you. With the framework inside this program, you will be able to save 10 to 20 hours a week, which is almost a thousand hours in a year, which is more than a whole month back of your time. And this is where it gets really, really exciting. The first launch in January 2020 is going to be at a highly discounted price because that's gonna be the first launch and that's a special price for the founding members you definitely want to be a founding member. If this sounds interesting to you, just sign up for the wait list. You have the link in the notes of this video or maybe in the link right here and see you there. You'll have much more information coming your way very soon. You'll be the first one to know. So without further ado, just come back to the video. Bonjour, hi guys. Today I'm with Kirsten. Hello Kirsten. Hi. Uh, so can you introduce yourself a little bit? Who are you? Yes, uh, my name is Kirsten Iverson. I am a business consultant and I love making harmony out of chaos. So basically what that means is I love supporting entrepreneurs, uh, teams, in how to streamline their processes to make them more efficient and really just make life easier. Okay, so streamlining processes, mm -hmm. making life more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you're a black belt too. Yes, I am a Lean Six Sigma black belt. So basically, Kirsten is just another version of me, just with blonde <laughs> hair. Yes. Okay, so today we wanted to talk about a topic, a topic in particular, the four agreements, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, if you haven't watched the video about the four agreements, you can go to the link right here and just have uh, maybe I have a deeper understanding of what these are. Uh, but maybe tell us, like present us what is our, uh, these four agreements a little bit. Yeah, you know, when you asked me to uh, talk about productivity, I really thought about it and mindset mm -hmm. is probably, I think, the most important thing for being productive. You can have a million lists, but if you're not coming from the right place. And so I wanted to share about my favorite book, The Four Agreements, which happens to be your favorite book too. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I love it because it talks about how it's a, the four agreements are a way for you to achieve personal freedom. I think it's really important to use these concepts in business as well. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. And I think as humans, we make things way more complicated than we need to. Mm -hmm. So that's why the four agreements is so important to me. Yeah, humans are very complex creatures. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to psychologies and everything, it feels good to have something very simple to mm -hmm. like, hang on to. What is your uh, favorite agreement? So my favorite agreement is don't take anything personal. Mm -hmm. And I almost think that the second and the third agreement kind of go together. 
like don't take anything personal and never make assumptions mm -hmm. because I think sometimes when you hear somebody say something, you can assume that they're meaning something mm -hmm. and then you take it personally. Yeah. It's like a combo. And I used to get really triggered probably about like 10 years ago. I would take everything personally and I would think it's all about me, you know, yeah. very egocentric. And sometimes I would just be like, I don't know why they don't understand. Mm -hmm. and. I have to go for like a four hour walk sometimes after work because I was so like, my chest was so tight. But then I started doing um, something. Have you heard of uh, Vipassana meditation? No. Nope. Okay, so. Tell me more. I decided that um, I wanted to learn about, you know, mindfulness and these things so I hear it really helps. So I went, I'm also, I'm very kind of an extreme person. So I won't just do like a five minute meditation. I decided to go to a 10 day silent meditation oh, retreat. Did you do, okay, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, I heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went there, I did it, and I'm very competitive. So they say like, you cannot talk, you can't give any eye contact, because like, what if I were to look at you, and then the sun was in my eye, and so I went like this, mm -hmm. but then all you see is me going like this at you, mm -hmm. you're like, what a jerk, like yeah. she's like so mean, but we couldn't talk it out. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really amazing experience and definitely helped shift the way that I felt about things and helped me be more objective yeah. and just looked at it for the content of what the person was saying and then also remembering, okay, where, what kind of a place are they coming from? Yeah. Do I think they're coming from a place of love and support or is it of malicious intent? Yeah. And if it's of malicious intent, then that's their problem. Exactly, that's their problem. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and isn't that really, like, it's a relief, right? Yeah. I mean, when you said it's your it's your uh, favorite agreement, that's mm -hmm. that's my favorite too, because it's so re it's such a relief to feel like, okay, if you're talking shit mm -hmm. to me or about me, then that's, that's just your problem. Mm -hmm. I feel good about myself. Yeah. But then um, it, there is something that is very important, uh, very subtle about these agreements is if you never take anything personally, mm -hmm. then you can also miss opportunities to improve. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is um, when you have someone giving you feedback, and I think you guys know by me that I, I really love feedback. I really, I, I think feedback is very powerful and it's a great vehicle for improvement. And if people are giving you feedback in, 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 in a wrong manner, mm -hmm. then if you don't take things personally and say, oh, I shouldn't take things personally because that's the second agreement, then you may not take the essence of the, like the, the improvement, the what could help you grow, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I, th I think that's something interesting about that second agreement. Yeah, what do they say? Like it's manure that helps flowers grow. So sometimes mm -hmm. the shit that people say about you, there are some good lessons in it. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a good and way so to if, if you're open, it's all about being open, mm -hmm. being open for growth. And, um, you know, sometimes, yeah, what people say, it, it's like, okay, yeah, you're, you're probably dealing with something and you go do that. Or the yeah. times it's like, okay, like, and maybe they're not saying it in the nicest way, but if you, if you're able to look at it objectively yeah. and be like, okay, I'm open to maybe trying something new. That's yeah. so powerful. Yeah. And sometimes when someone is just like, you can, you can feel that person is just like being mean. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like playing dumb and, <laughs> and, and be like, and be overly like positive to that yeah. person in front of it. And, and sometimes it would happen say, you, you must be, you must be very sad in your life. I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. I, I feel good about my own life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I said it just once, but uh, I, I think it's a mean, mean, a mean thing to say. Whatever. <laughs> you, said, yeah. you said that um, the four agreements, this is something uh, like a, a concept that you use with, with your clients. Mm -hmm. uh, in, can you tell us more about like the type of, of environment you would, uh, you would uh, introduce it to? Yes. Yeah, so actually, right when I start with my clients, um, I usually tell them, hey, uh, I'm very straightforward and this is to be uh, conscious of your time and my time and so I'm not going to necessarily coddle you when it comes to giving you feedback or other things like know that a it's always coming from a loving place because mm -hmm. it's like one team one dream like 
you hired me to help you make this happen. And so anything I say or do is with that goal in mind and, and is with you in mind. Mm -hmm. So don't take it personally. So I literally almost my, my pre-talk with my clients is the four agreements in just like that kind of a way. Yeah. And I always tell them too, uh, you know, I, I'm not a mind reader. If you don't tell me that maybe something bothered you that I said or that like, you're confused and you need more clarification, like you have to tell me um, because the communication is gonna bring out more results and make things go faster. And so I kind of just lay that on the line, mm -hmm. like from the very beginning. So they know that I'm not being, because sometimes straightforwardness can be taken as like harsh, yeah. when really it's just like, I see the issue and like, are we gonna tackle it now? Or yeah. are we gonna like tiptoe around it, you know? And so um, we feel comfortable. It's like so important that we understand what our values are and what our um, intentions are. So then we're make sure that we're super excited and energized every day in life. Like, mm -hmm. I think that people don't think that that's normal, but it can be normal. Yeah. And we're just choosing not to, and we are making choices um, from what I've seen is just because we don't want to hurt someone's feelings we want, don't want someone to think that we're mad at them or other stuff but if we would just be impeccable with our words say what we feel you know all, all these four agreements actually I don't think we even went through what the four agreements were no but I'm, I'm sure they, oh. they clicked on the video, on the and, video. They, and they know exactly yeah so tell us if you watch <laughs> the video first put them in the comment below so you're using the four agreements uh, to to help uh, setting the scene with your clients mm -hmm. is it something that you do like fairly is it fairly new because you felt like you were lacking something before when you were working with your clients mm -hmm. or and do you see a difference mm -hmm. uh, when using it and when not using it yeah um, so I think I always use it now because it's ingrained in me and mm -hmm. I mean clearly I falter every now and then on them, um, just depends, like we're all, we're all human. Um, so the intention is to, to do them all the time, but you know, okay. and so, but I think by, you know, as a powerful or a strong leader, you're the one that has to set the example. So just by me doing it is enough. I don't necessarily have to tell my clients to do it. I just say, this is how I lead. This is how um, I expect like things to go. Yeah. And if they choose to do those things, wonderful. We're gonna have a great working relationship. If they don't, usually we won't work together much longer yeah. or other things like that. So it's like really understanding what your level of excellence is mm -hmm. in whatever environment. And for me, that's the four greens. It's kind of a container yeah. that I have. I like that you use it like straight, like like right off the bat with the client and set it as a kind of a common objective mm -hmm. or kind of a common agreement. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> uh, common agreement to, to start with. Yeah. And that's actually linked to something that I, uh, that I uh, talked about in a video on how to run effective, uh, effective meetings, mm -hmm. uh, is that if you are straightforward on the agenda and on the on the objective of a meeting or on an approach how you work together mm -hmm. and you make that person agree with you that's your common agreement mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if you see any deviation from it going forward mm -hmm. it's much easier to actually come back to it hey remember that's what we agreed on mm -hmm. instead of just coming back and snap back to that person and say this is not and being like more of an authority mm -hmm. it's more like it's kind of unpersonalizes the the um the, the discussion yeah. and just coming back to the agreement uh that you that you had at the very very beginning absolutely yeah. and i think one of the big stresses that um a lot of my clients have because usually they're making more than six figures in their business if they're a solopreneur um or maybe have like one assistant or something like that but they are like, you're doing a great job, people love them, but they're burning out. Yeah. And it's because they haven't established their boundaries yet. They haven't really established their processes and they're like, oh, this always happens or they always email me at this time or this and that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, well, did you tell them what your expected communication style is going to be? Or did you give them a timeline of when the first revision, the second revision, like what your, the phases are of the project? And they're like, no. 
I'm like, okay, well, if you don't set the expectation, it just, the lack of clarity is going to cause confusion. Mm -hmm. And so just helping empower people to understand like, okay, this may feel stressful and awkward right now, but yeah. this is a beautiful lesson on how we can do it better next time and start setting a process that can shift and can change, but at least it's something to move off of for next time. Great. Mm -hmm. I like that. So we talked about how you can use the four agreements on a professional level with, mm -hmm. with your clients in a corporate setting, but uh, on a more personal level, like do you have something to share about these uh, four agreements? Yeah, you know, I think that once I started to really practice and embody the four agreements, um, it just made all of my relationships better. And I think sometimes, uh, at least in America, we feel like we are our job and we're very tied to that. So personally for me, with the four agreements, um, I realized that these concepts don't just work in business, they work in all aspects of your life. And um, for me, I think it's really helped with just lowering anxiety, stress, um, you know, helping with like monkey mind, those things when you get really distracted, just keeps you focused on what matters most. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that nowadays we're so impacted by like notifications all the time and just all these things that are such stressors. And if we use these concepts, it's so much, it's just like such a more peaceful way of living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready for the tete a tete? I am. Are you? Yes. Okay, so you know what it is, the tete a tete. I have put, to put my beret. Okay, I have to put it correctly. And I'm gonna ask you like very quick question, quick answers. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Dogs or cats? Cats or dogs that act like cats. What does he mean? Like the ones that don't jump all over you, like they're pretty independent, they love love on you. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, you have to meet Bowie. Bowie is my dog, is oh. my, my wife's and I dog. Uh, is I'm gonna put a picture right here. <laughs> is is so cute and you never hear him bark Aww. okay it was supposed to be like very quick <laughs> more money or more sleep money while i sleep money while you sleep oh that's smart <laughs> sweet or salty combo combo oh uh morning or night morning favorite youtube channel the fitness marshal you're supposed to just say time flies <laughs> Fitness Marshall? Yeah. What is it about? Oh my gosh. It's this guy that does exercise music videos and he's so funny. He actually did a performance here in San Diego. It's probably the most fun thing I've done in my entire life. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So fun. That's... Okay. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. How many cups of coffee a day? Uh, now one to two, but I used to drink it all day. Okay. <laughs> Favorite cheese? Blueberry goat cheese at Trader Joe's. Blueberry goat cheese? Ah. Sounds horrible. <laughs> no, no, okay, that okay, that goes well with the sweet and I'm not salty. Take it personally, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that goes well with the sweet and salty, but yes. like in France, we're very puris with the cheese. So, mm. white wine or red wine? Red. Red. Most famous French person that comes to mind? Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. <laughs> How many hours of sleep do you get each night? Six to eight. Six to eight. Say something in French. It's not directed towards you. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Ah, okay, I know. <laughs> that's a, that's a famous Niagara. song. That's a yes. famous song. Yes. So when you travel and you, you ask, <laughs> when don't you say this in public. <laughs> it's not personal. It's not. Or personal. baguette. <laughs> oh, baguette. Okay, baguette. I'll take baguette. Yeah. <laughs> uh, stereotype about French people. Um, they don't care what you think. Okay. And they're fancy. Not damn fancy. That, 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 that's more true, actually. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the book currently on your nightstand? Um, the 12 week year. Okay, what is it about? It's about how to be um, productive in 12 weeks as you would in a whole year. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> so, what's your mantra or phrase you live by? Well, I live by the four agreements. Okay, of course, of course, that's the topic of this video. You, <laughs> you, there is no other possible answer anyway. Uh, what's your kryptonite? Uh, cat videos. Okay. <laughs> On Instagram. What's, what's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, victim mentality. 
Mm, that's yeah, that's very important. Personal responsibility. Yeah, accountability. <laughs> yeah. That's come on. Yeah. Come on. If your pet, do you have a pet? I don't have a pet. Okay. So I had a neighborhood cat that I would let into my house all the time named okay. Ninja. So if Ninja, <laughs> if Ninja could talk, what would she or he say about you? Uh, probably say um, like welcome to my house servant or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically that cat did what it wanted. <laughs> okay, that's the end of uh, the tete a tete. How can people uh, just uh, follow you? How can uh, people uh, get to know more about you? Yeah, you can go check out my website, kirstenivison.com to see what I'm currently working on. Or my favorite way to connect and uh, share what I'm doing is Instagram. So follow me at Kirsten M. Iverson. Um, feel free to DM me if you have any questions about the video. You can even do a group DM with both of us. How fun would that be? Does it work? I'm very bad at Instagram. Oh, okay. DM me about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we'll do a group DM. A group DM. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for, for being here with us. My pleasure. We hope you had a great time with my conversation with Kirsten. And see you next week.